ever the centuries and millenniums pass. This is what Ashwapati is telling to the Divine Mother. The rendezvous between Yogi Ashwapati and Divine Mother, the truth consciousness force is on the threshold mind. Ashwapati is climbing up the entire ladder of this creation and he is at the top of this creation. From the other side, the Divine Mother comes in response to his plea. And it is there they are meeting. In the beginning, she advises Ashwapati to go slow. He should not hasten the process, the process of evolution in this world. He should not compel her descent in this world. If it becomes premature, if it becomes early, if the ground is not ready for her coming, then the whole thing might collapse. That is what she is advising Ashwapati. But in the meanwhile, Ashwapati has done something most, un most unusual. He has borne all the difficulties of this creation. He has suffered the pangs of ignorance, of death, of misery, of life, everything he has suffered here with the sole intention of making things change here. And to make things change here, the only solution he finds is that the Divine Mother must take human birth and come down here. That is his urge, his plea, that is his prayer. And in the whole process, what he has done is something, of course, most unusual. But at the same time, there is a practical side of it. And therefore, the Divine Mother advises him caution. But Ashwapati is impatient. He is not going to wait. He is going to call down her immeasurable descent. Yes, it is too dangerous to bring her down too soon, but it is she alone who can do things. Her advice is to let slow time work out things by themselves. In the slow process of evolution, let things progress gradually. That is her sane advice. He could ask for that purpose. He could ask a boon to greater his spirit. She is there to give him a boon. He can ask a boon from her to greater his spirit. He can ask for a boon. He can ask for the joy by which his fellow beings can also be happy. She is willing to give him that boon that joy. He could ask a boon to greaten his spirit, a joy to raise his kind, the fellow beings, to the possibilities of a new happiness. But Ashwapati is not going to listen to that. He has another argument. He cannot rest content with immortal days with ignorance, with suffering, with death. He is not going to remain content with that. He cannot accept doom. The doom that binds the souls of men into ignorance, into death. How long, he argues, sir, how long shall our souls battle with this night? How long Shall we quarrel with death? How long shall we carry the yoke of death on our shoulders? How long shall we be subject to ignorance? Why is it not that her own light 
come down here. Why breaks not a ray of a light in this creation? Why not the darkness get illumined by her presence here? That is the question he is asking her. Yes, the whole story of this creation is through centuries and centuries, through millennia and millennia, the same old story is getting constantly repeated. Same suffering, same ignorance, same death, same anguish. How long this is going to happen? The whole problem is Ashwapati has already seen the possibility of the higher beings waiting to come down upon this earth. A new and marvelous creation is already present in the transcendent and it is eager, it is anxious to come down and establish itself upon this earth in this mortal world. That cannot happen if one has to go through the process of centuries and millenniums. How long can that new creation wait to materialize here, to get realized here in this creation? Thing must happen soon now. Ashwapati wants those things to happen immediately, so to say, at once. And his plea his urge is that this can happen only if the Divine Mother takes a mortal birth and prepares the necessary ground for that new creation to appear in this world. Ever the centuries and millenniums pass, if she would not come, centuries and millenniums will continue to pass and there will be no end to that. And therefore, he is again making his strong plea to her to take mortal birth. That is what this son of strength, Ashapati, forcefully telling to the Divine Mother. 